What is up guys, today we're going to be focusing on Tinker's Construct, mainly the drying rack and how to turn it into an automatic system. You're going to need a couple things to do this. Firstly, you're going to need Tinker's Construct, otherwise this video is kind of pointless. Secondly, you're going to need a mod that includes an item transportation system, something that moves items from point A to point B without any player interference. You're also going to need a mod that has an item whitelist or blacklist capability. Most of the mods that have an item transportation system will have this ability included within one of their blocks such as Buildcraft, Mechanism, or Ender IO. I recommend all three. This is not required however I do recommend it if you're looking for a quick easy fast setup. The Hopper Ducks mod allows it so that when the items go into the dispersal system it evenly sorts them out. You can do it with pipes, but it takes a little longer. To build the setup, you're going to need the following things. The building block of your choice, the drying rack from Tinker's Construct, your choice of an item, white or black listing device. I'm going to use the logistical sorter from Mechanism. Item transportation device of your choice. I'm going to use the logistical pipes from Mechanism. Whether you choose to use hoppers, Hopper ducts or pipes is completely up to you. I'm going to use hopper ducts. And lastly, you're going to need a storage device. I'm going to use barrels from the barrels mod. Let's get in the building, shall we? I'm going to place down five blocks. Like so. I've noticed that stacking them on top of each other does not allow the system to work properly. So stick to one block high as long as you want. It's a very big space hog, but it works the best. Next, attach your drying racks to the blocks you placed. Then, hook up your dispersal system. I'm going to be using hopper ducts. Hook it up to the drying racks by shift right clicking on the drying rack with your item. It should look like this if you're using hopper ducts. Next, you're going to want to put your item transportation system on the back of your dispersal system, like so, and hook it to your container storing the item that you would like to dry. Then go behind your drying racks and destroy the blocks. Once that is done, place down your block with your white or blacklist capability. Lastly, you're going to want to hook up your item transportation system to your white or blacklist items. Once that is complete, hook it up to your secondary storage where the final product will land. Once that is complete, you may turn the system on. I am using mechanism pipes, so I need to set these to pull. If you are as well, I highly recommend that you set your retrieval system pipes to pull as well to prevent backfeeding. If your system is set up properly, it should begin the drying process and auto stacking it into your final inventory. Let's watch and see. Great! As you saw there, it went from the drying rack, to the logistical sorter, to the logistical transporting pipes, into the final inventory. Now if you do not have it set up right, and if you notice that the rotten flesh is being pulled instead of anything else, that means you have your whitelist or your blacklist backwards. Depending on the material that you are trying to dry, you always want to either blacklist the starting object or whitelist the final object. So in this case you would blacklist rotten flesh and whitelist monster jerky. Alright guys that sums it up for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps and enjoy your day.